Micah Parsons' playoff dilemma, from phenomenal to forgotten, Dallas Cowboys grapple with a nightmare finish. In the crucible of the NFL wildcard matchup against the Green Bay Packers, the Dallas Cowboys faced a catastrophic downfall, leaving their stars, including standout Micah Parsons, grappling with the shadows of an overwhelming defeat. The narrative, once dominated by Parsons' quest to be phenomenal or forgotten, took a dark turn as the Cowboys succumbed to a 48-32 drubbing on their home turf. Before the game, Parsons set a high bar for himself and his team, a determination to etch their names into the illustrious history of the Dallas Cowboys. However, the resounding defeat against the Packers has cast a looming cloud over the entire team. The quarterback, Dak Prescott, stumbled out of the gate, and the front seven, including Parsons, found themselves muted by the unyielding physicality of the Packers. The scoreboard painted a grim picture, and Parsons' impact was notably absent, limited to just two tackles in the box score. As the echoes of disappointment reverberate, scrutiny falls upon the coaching staff, the beleaguered quarterback, and even Parsons himself. How did an all-pro edge rusher, heralded for his disruptive prowess, fade into the background in the most crucial game of the season? The Packers' success, orchestrated by head coach Matt LaFleur, became a nightmare for the Cowboys to contend with. LaFleur's offensive strategy, inspired by Kyle Shanahan's wide zone attack, exploited the Cowboys' defensive emphasis on speed over strength. Parsons, though a formidable force, found himself strategically neutralized, particularly in defending against Green Bay's potent run game. The tactical approach was evident, LaFleur prioritized containing Parsons, utilizing schemes like split zone to deploy a blocker to thwart him on the backside of a run. While Parsons struggled against the Packers' physicality, his speed was nullified by calculated offensive concepts. Yet, this isn't a simplistic narrative of they blocked him. It delves deeper into the strategic layers of the game. Bob Sturm's analysis reveals the intentional efforts to limit Parsons' disruptive capabilities, ensuring he couldn't single-handedly alter the course of the game. The paradox lies in Parsons' excellence as a pass rusher. Despite winning a significant percentage of pass rush snaps, the Packers, with a multidimensional offensive approach, restricted Parsons' opportunities to make a decisive impact. Jordan Love's controlled passing attempts and a game script favoring the Packers dictated the narrative, keeping Parsons from unleashing his full potential. As we reflect on this unexpected twist in the Cowboys' playoff journey, questions linger. Was Parsons effectively neutralized, or did the Cowboys fail to capitalize on his undeniable prowess? We turn to you, passionate fans and astute observers. How do you interpret Micah Parsons' subdued performance, and what do you envision for his future in pivotal playoff matchups? Share your insights and join the conversation as we dissect the complex dynamics that unfolded on that fateful day.